Um, my main thing I want to go over is um, APKs. And um, if you don't, don't know what an APK is, that is a, the Android package. So when you install apps on your phone, when you get them from the Play Store, um, that is the file name or the file that you install in order to run that app on your phone is an APK file. Whenever you install something from the, um, the Google Play Store and install an app on your phone, that is an APK. And you can get um, those APKs other places other than just the App Store. And I'm gonna show you a few ways that you can do that because you're, if you do any of this like um, analysis work of looking through these apps, you need to actually get the APK file and not just have the installed application on your phone. You may remember last week when we set up this device, we did not get one with the Play Store enabled. And that was for some uh, um, reasons about like some elevated privileges and things that just aren't enabled by default for any of the images that come with the Play Store. So since we don't have the Play Store, we need another way to get applications because we want to be able to poke and play with them. And there are two main places that you can get them, in, that I use at least. Um, and one of them is a website called APK Pure. So um, APK Pure pretty much has any sort of um, app that you could find on the App Store and you can just download the APK file directly. I will caution you though, do not use APK Pure as a replacement for the App Store. If you're going to download apps on your phone, just like your personal phone to use in your day-to-day -day life, get them from the App Store. Do not get them from a third-party source like APK Pure or any other similar website because while this is a great place to get um, APKs that you can uh, download and play with and tear apart and see what's going on inside them, it is also a third party. It is not regulated. It does not have any of the security checks that goes on at Google with any of the apps that are on the App Store. It doesn't have anybody checking them to make sure it, it doesn't have malware installed in them. None of that stuff. So do not trust apps you get from APK Pure to just run on your device in your normal day-to-day -day life. Things like this is the entire reason that we want to set, set up this emulator as our test device. So if we do happen to get a bad APK or anything else and install it on this and it ends up being malware and does all kinds of bad things, we can always just delete the phone and then build another one from scratch and it's like nothing happened. That's my disclaimer on using these third-party sites. Just use them and they're, they're a great resource for finding APKs to play with and poke at, but do not use them as a replacement for the App Store. So you can search for any app you want um, and it pretty much any app that's on the App Store, they'll have it and you can even find a lot of times older versions. So if there's a new version on the App Store, you can like backtrack and look at apps that are no longer on the App Store. So it's a, it's a great resource for just finding um, APKs that you can play with. So we can look for anything we want. Um, say we want to look at the, for the Twitch mobile app. There's um, Twitch and we can download the APK right here. Some of the ones you find on APK Pure might be .x APK and not just um, regular APK. This is what I was talking about earlier. They have several different versions sometimes, but um, you can look at any of those who want. So, so let's say we wanted to look at 12.3.0 uh, and it looks like this one just has the APK and not the X APK. So if we want to download that one, and now I have Twitch Live Game Streaming 12.3.0.apk. 
now we can um, we can install it onto our phone just directly with the APK if we wanted to. We can decompile it. We can look at the source code. We can do a lot of things with that. So um, I'll come back to that in a minute. We, we'll do a few things with that, but um, that is one um, good way to get APKs that you want to play with. Another one is um, an app called APK Extractor and you can find APK Extractor just on the Google Play Store. You can install it on your phone just like a regular app. So this APK Extractor right here, this is what you look, it looks like. Hopefully you can see that without too much trouble, but it just it's a regular app you get from the Play Store and it lists all the apps on your phone, including Chrome, your clock app, all these background services that you probably never even heard of most of them and um, any of these apps that you want to um, look at the actual APK file you can just click on it let's say let's look at the Google Play Music app click on it and now it says at the bottom you might probably couldn't see that but it said it's been extracted to a file location and um, now the APK file that corresponds to that app has been moved to like a location on the phone's hard drive where you can easily find it and you can download it onto your PC and look through it and do whatever you want to do. Um, and if you need have trouble finding those APKs once they've been extracted using this, you can uh, just go to settings and it tells you right here under saved path slash storage slash emulated slash zero slash extracted apps and that's where you'll find any apps that you extract using the APK extractor so I, I can go ahead and drop into a shell do sue just to get elevator privilege and then um, it said slash storage slash, emul slash emulated slash zero slash extracted apps. So I'm going to do CD into storage emulated zero extracted apps LS and there's the Google Play Music com.google.android.music um, and that's actually a directory it puts any apps that you um, extract into their own directory so I can go into that and if I hit LS, now I see the actual Google Play Music .apk file. I can back out of that shell and then I can, um, if you remember from last week, I can use another ADB command and do ADB pull. And if you remember last week, I mentioned that there's ADB push and there's ADB pull. If something is on your PC that you want to upload to the phone, then you push it. If there's something on the phone you want to download to your PC, then you pull it. There, in this case, that APK is in the storage emulated path in that uh, directory on the phone, and I want to get it on my PC, so I do ADB pull, and I need the location of where that file is, which is slash storage slash emulated slash zero slash extracted APKs slash Google Play Music, com Google, Android Music, and then the APK, Google Play Music, music to dot APK. And I'm going to, so I have ADB pool and the location of that file, and now I need the location where I want to put it on my PC. Uh, it doesn't really matter in this case. Uh, I, I don't really care where it goes. Um, so I'm just going to do a period, which means put it wherever I am currently. And right now I'm in my downloads folder. So it'll put it in my downloads folder on my um, PC. And now if I run ls in this downloads folder, now I see a Google Play Music, music2.apk. So those are the two main ways that I usually go about getting APKs that I want to look at. Either 
I go to APK Pure and download the APK directly from that website. And there are other websites out there that are similar. APK Pure is just one that I usually go to, not for any particular reason. Um, and um, the other is using APK Extractor, which I just showed you. So um, I do usually prefer going through the um, APK Extractor when I can, because that way I know that the, um, the app is legit. It, it actually came from the App Store, and I'm just pulling the APK from that legitimate app. And odds are pretty good the one from APK Pure will probably be fine but you just never know for sure because it is a third-party site and doesn't have those protections enabled that the um, Google Play Store does. Another thing that I wanted to um, show now that we have APKs, now let's say we have an APK and we want to install it on a phone. Well, um, once again, we can use ADB to do that. Just like you can ADB push, ADB pull, there's also a um, command for ADB install. And for this, all we need is the APK. So let's install the Twitch app on our emulator. So um, I'm just running ADB install and then the name of the APK that we want to install. Run that, performing streamed install. And again, Twitch is a fairly large app, so it It'll take a few seconds, but it shouldn't be very long. And now, if we look at our emulator, pull up the apps, here we have the Twitch app. And we can launch it just like it was an app that we got from the App Store. And we can log into our Twitch account and we could use it just like we would use any app that we got off the Play Store. But again, just a reminder, this Twitch app came from APK Pure. That's a third-party um, site. It did not come from the App Store, so I do not recommend getting apps to install on your phone from those kind of sources. But if you do need to install an APK directly from your PC to your phone, this is how you would do it. You just run ADB, ADB install and then the name of the APK. So we know what an APK is. We know how to get APKs. So now we need to know what to do with APKs.